Sometimes when we look at a graph, we find ourselves focusing on one salient feature, like a bump in a line or a turning point, but we misinterpret what that feature is actually telling us. Let's look at an example. This is a graph showing the temperature of water as it is heated through its two phase changes, melting at zero degrees Celsius and boiling at 100 degrees Celsius. At each phase change, the water temporarily remains at the same temperature until all the molecules have changed phase. If I asked the question, between which two points would you begin to see liquid water, you may be tempted to focus on the sloped portion of the line, as this indicates that the temperature is rising. Like a snowman in the sunshine, it would seem that as the sun rises and the ambient temperature rises, the snowman begins to melt. So you might think that between points A and B, the ice is beginning to melt. But what you must remember is that this graph is not charting the temperature of the room in which the water is being measured, like the outside temperature in our snowman example. It is measuring the temperature of the water molecules themselves. So since water does not begin melting until it reaches zero degrees Celsius, you will not see any liquid water until the water reaches point B. And at point C, it will all be water. So the correct answer to the question, between which two points would you begin to see liquid water, is actually between points B and C. So even though we think of a phase change in water being caused by an increase in temperature, on this graph, it is represented by the intervals on the graph where no change in temperature is occurring because we are measuring the temperature of the water itself. So make sure that when you are interpreting a graph, you pay attention to what is actually being measured by the data being displayed. You think carefully about what those salient features are telling you, and you understand what the question is asking you.